Welcome back to SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, where we run through the Raw roster with everyone's favorite superstar, Triple H. Last time, the game embarrassed Devon and sent him packing. And right now, here comes the damn Karate Master. I'm tired of people telling us to take it easy. But I guess we will since he brought us this. We kinda already beat Rock and Booker. Well, how about we do a triple threat match? That's something new. I mean, I know it's a heel thing for Triple H to take the easy way out, but uh, we ain't about to do that now. This reign of terror will be dominating for all the right reasons. Oh, look, some off. Come on. The first person we get back here and it's you. Ugh, I don't even know why I'm back here. I guess we're not happy with our match. Let's, let's change it. Oh, he can't do it. So you can make Devon the number one contender for the world title out of nowhere, but you can't change the match card. And you call yourself the boss. Well, thanks for wasting our time, Vince. Oh wait, no, we got a superstar point, okay. We'll take that with a grin. Then head out to start this show. The game show. A tag team match? Well, it's with Ric Flair, so I can't complain. We should be fine as long as there's no alcohol in the back. The last thing we need is to lose because Ric can't stay on his feet. Anyways, let's worry about our match. We've got Evolution versus the unlikely team of The Rock and Billy G. Please don't be a stumbling mess, Rick. That's all we ask. And the champ starts off well enough for his team. I don't know what the hell The Rock was doing there. There's a throw to the Evolution Corner and a tag. Show us what you got, Nate. Oh my goodness! He falls on his face. But he's okay. I think that was a jab at those who thought he'd be too drunk to perform here tonight. Nature Boy is smashed in the nuts. Uh, I think that means that Space Mountain is closed down for good now. If it already wasn't, of course. The Rock with a reversal. But Rick coming back with one of his own. Don't count out this former 21, I mean 16 time world champion. He's got enough chops to get the job done. And The Rock is about to feel that right now. Rick and Rock trade reversals yet again. Nature Boy gets in another one. And he takes the big man down with a swinging neck breaker. Now, if you're impressed with the aggression that Triple H shows, you're gonna love Nate because he's one of the men the game molded his style in the shape of. Actually, I don't think I've ever heard anyone say they were impressed with anything Triple H has ever done. <laughs> That's a damn shame. Anyways, Nature Boy number two wisely tags in the World Heavyweight Champion. The only man around here moving the needle. I don't know where he put it though. Triple H in enemy territory. But he fights out of it. Damn, that chop hit him both at the same time. The game is an extraordinary athlete, but Goldberg might just be even better. <laughs> Why am I lying? Why am I lying for? Oh, right. I got to put him over. <clears throat> Goldberg has beat the biggest names in the industry, and he did it in dominant fashion. There wasn't a man alive who could come close to his level in WCW. But as the game demonstrates with that knee drop, this ain't WCW. The Cerebral Assassin striking Billy with those wicked rights. That knocked him over the top rope and out of the ring. What? What's, what, what's he doing? Triple H is going under the ring. What the hell are you doing now? Oh, no. Okay, good. Ric Flair, stop Goldberg from doing the unthinkable. Those chops and Triple H with a uh, inverted suplex. Okay, that, that came to me slow. I was thinking saving grace again, but no. The game has got that table set up in the corner, but he's still beating the hell out of Goldberg. I wonder what he's planning. The ref goes down somehow and Triple H heads outside the ring. Is he going for the sledgehammer? No? 
I don't know what he's doing. Okay, there it is. All right, yeah. Come on, game. The ref's up already. Hit him. That's not going to be enough, you idiot. Goldberg is taken down yet again. Harder. Did you hear that? What the hell was that? The game does well regaining momentum with that knee. But Goldberg is having none of it. And neither is the game as we see him hitting his pedigree. Hell yeah. What are you doing? <gasps> the Rock just hit Earl. Good, he deserved it. The game with a finisher. What are we going to see now? Triple H with his brawling antics. He's in enemy territory, holding his own. This man is legendary. Look at him go. And he's still taking it to Goldberg. I don't think that's doing to him exactly what you think it is. Goldberg is not looking good right now. Look at him. He's hurting. Or not. It's hard to tell after that. Triple H with a reversal. Oh no. Don't do it. Okay, good. The champ sets his sights on the rock. And here it comes again. Time to get ready for a face crushing pedigree. And Goldberg is busted wide open. The Rock gets knocked off the apron and Triple H goes for the pin. He hooks the leg. Come on, ref. And he does it. Ric Flair and Triple H Evolution have just won that match. I really thought we were about to see some shenanigans. Maybe we should have. Hmm. Triple H will be. Wait. What's happening? That's good old JR. No way. He just struck JR in the face. Hell no. Wait, we said no. What's he doing in his face? We don't care about JR. Let's just get out of here. Funnily enough, if I remember that correctly, wasn't it Triple H that did that to JR? I mean, it was 20 years ago, so I could be wrong. Oh, Insurrection is here. I forgot about it. Let's give those loyal Triple H fans in Newcastle a show they'll never forget. Take a look at that stage and that pyro. I don't think I can go over the top with a reaction for it. It, it just looks okay. No, we're not even going to dare to go back there. Nobody's ever around anyways. Oh, what? We got Scott Steiner. I didn't know he'd be coming that quick. Furthermore, why the hell are we not in the main event? This is the world champion's first match with a big bad booty daddy. And it's taking place in England. Any of those points alone should have made this match the main event of this show. Who the hell booked this? Kevin Nash. Anyways, let's get this match going. Triple H in his purple shorts, just to fit the color scheme of this pay-per-view. Now the game brawling. But Scott Steiner might just be better at brawling than he is. But Scott ain't better than Triple H at wrestling. Not since he decided to hit the roids real hard. The genetic freak elbows Triple H in the face. Triple H reverses. Into the corner he goes. And now we see the Tree of Woe. I don't know what I just saw there, but despite whatever that was, I do know the game's gonna love placing that knee between his eyes. The booty daddy got his booty aimed right at us. You're welcome. And now the game with those rights again. Damn, Scott's fragile. For a man that big, I thought he could take a pounding, but I guess not. The champ again with those heavy punches, knocking Steiner out of the ring. The game goes over the top. I told you guys, this Triple H is different. He's not the same as the one you remember. In my opinion, he's much better. And none of this proves my point, however, but uh, j let's just get past this. Damn, all those roids falling down on the game sternum. Man, don't be kicking your feet like a baby. What are you doing? The champ and Steiner are fighting near the announce tables. And here they go on one now. This could be disastrous. Is he going to try to put him through? 
Oh, well, uh, that's not how you do it, H. No! No! How does that make any sense? That might just be the dumbest thing about this game. The game finally hits the elbow. And now that he has another finisher, how about we do this the right way? Scott Steiner fighting back. But it's not going to last. Wait, it might. You can't resist the game for long. Nope, not like that. Are we going to see it? Yes. He hooks the arms and slams him straight through the announce desk. The game's showboating, and he deserves to after something like that. Triple H is in the ring, and now he taunts again. And I know he wants that finisher, and he's got it. Wait, did he just try to hit the ref? I don't know if I saw that right, but okay. I might not have seen that one right, but I'm looking at this quite clearly. Here comes the pedigree, and it busts Scott Steiner wide open. Now count to three, ref. And that does it. Your World Heavyweight Champion is the victor at Insurrection here in Newcastle, England. Now get that roid monster out of my damn ring. Wait. Wait. This ain't over, is it? Steiner busted open. He's out. Triple H is taking his time to leave the ring. Almost like he has something else on his mind. That's because he does. The game is about to tear this man's ass up just a little bit more. And he puts the boost to him. Scott Steiner won't be leaving Newcastle with any dignity left. Damn man, despite what everyone says about him, Triple H is just that damn good. Yeah, and I really don't care about the rest of these matches. So join me next time when we head back to the States to prepare for that title defense in a triple threat match against The Rock and Booker T.